Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be kind of like a part two to last week's ultimate clean and well this is going to be an extreme clean because I did a lot of cleaning and organizing in this video so it's kind of a part two to cleaning and organizing and I also got Frank here today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, so I'm here today as well because there's a little part of this video that I was a part of. Now I did help Brittany towards the end of this video, yes, but I cleaned uh, the concrete outside. You guys will see that in just a little bit. But first, we have to show you guys how messy our upstairs is. I'm mainly focusing on the upstairs minus what Frank did outside because it was so... I don't even have the words. You guys can just see it was horrible. So I wanted to show you guys kind of like a before and of course as I am cleaning you guys will see the after. So I'm hoping that this video will give you guys some cleaning and organizing motivation. I know when I w always watch these videos it gives me motivation to clean my own house. So I hope you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy this video because I just realized that it's almost 30 minutes long. Lost track of time. So I am starting out with putting a load of laundry on. I always do that. That's probably like one of the first things I do before I start cleaning. Um, and then I decided I was going to organize the laundry room. I had some more of these like little milk crate storage bins. I'll leave a link down below. Actually, everything that you guys see in this video that I'm using will be in the description. Eventually we want to redo our laundry room, but for now I just have these storage bins that I can organize everything like the toilet paper, cleaning supplies, all of our cleaning cloths. And I also on top of that went ahead and wiped down our washer and dryer, cleaned that up because I realized that's never been done, at least not for me. Maybe our cleaners, we do have cleaners that come uh, every two weeks just to do like a general cleaning. Maybe they wipe it down, but because it wasn't too dirty I noticed, but I wanted to go ahead and do that. And I also cleaned the floor in there. So I vacuumed and I also mopped. So I somehow managed to bribe the kids with some ice cream drumsticks <laughs> to clean the playroom. So while they were cleaning that, I was cleaning the rest of the laundry room. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys about was this little area that I'm vacuuming right here. When we do redo, we do redo our laundry room. When we remodel our, <laughs> yeah, our laundry room. Yeah, when we remodel. I'm like the worst so, yeah. at talking. <laughs> so when we remodel this laundry room, this is going to be one of those areas that we're going to focus on the most. Um, we were going to put shelving uh, or a uh, kind of like a standalone table yes, right there, like, That's a, folding like table. a folding table. And then one of the other things that I've noticed that never seems to end <laughs> is the laundry. It's like oh every gosh. time we turn around, it's either one of the kids have like more laundry to do, or it's minor Brittany's laundry to do, mm -hmm. and then it never fails. It just never Keeps fails because on. I've always gotten the advice like do laundry like at least one load every day I'm like okay well that's fine but I am washing for six people and then towels and other so random it's literally things a load of laundry every, every day. single day 
and look how cute no one is. I know he was so cute. Also, to add on to what Frank was saying about the laundry, I've also come to realize that no matter how I clean, it will be back to square one the next day. And I also realized as I was cleaning, the house just got messier and messier. Like I don't know how that happened, but all the after or the before footage that you guys saw at the beginning, yeah, the playroom was already like that again. Harlow's room, everything. Our room was almost like that. It's just and it's just inedible when yeah. you have so many people in one house. And it's like the next day, like you said, um, I walked in this morning and was like, "Why is there such a mess when you cleaned all day yesterday?" Hey, 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 hey! It's all it's all a trick. I just say <laughs> that I'm cleaning when I'm really not. I'm just kidding. No, it it that's just what happens when you have kids. But I will say they are very helpful. As you guys just saw, Nolan wanted to clean the table in the playroom. Harla was there handing me all of the laundry, which was super sweet of her. But I see that Frank's part is about to come up, so I'm gonna hand the mic to him. <laughs> Get it, mic to him? Oh, hand oh, the yep. mic to him. <laughs> the snowball here. All right, you guys, so now it is time for my part of the cleaning video. Um, I was mainly focused on tackling this walkway slash entryway right here. Um, I ended up picking up a Greenworks um, pressure washing disc from a friend of mine and some uh, concrete cleaner. It's like a 50-50 mix between the solution and water. And the only thing you really had to do on the concrete was spray the solution down, wait 10 minutes, and then spray the concrete off and that did come in handy and for me it was probably one of the more satisfying things of the video and also take a note of my cursive and smiley face yeah, Brittany was like um what is that <laughs> and i was like it's cursive <laughs> and it says enjoy so i really I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy my part of the cleaning video because honestly it's pretty satisfying to watch and it was satisfying for me to edit because there was so many stains and mud on our patio and I didn't even want to mention this, but the part that you guys see Frank cleaning right there, that was from like a rotting pumpkin back in the fall that we just let it sit there. Not, not till now. It's been, it's been <laughs> thrown away. It's gone. But we let but... it sit till like November and it stained the patio. So I am very thankful for pressure washers. Cause it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I gotta Go, go, go Running into better times Go, go, go From my emotions out Go, go, go Running into better times To better times One last thing you guys, um, you will see me skip over that bottom section of the concrete because we had it replaced um, today because it had a large crack running through it so I just skipped over that completely. And also I am going to leave a link in the description below for this Greenworks, I think it's a 10 inch uh, kind of like pressure washer cleaner attachment and it really comes in handy, it's a good concrete cleaner. Nothing that can hold us back, hold us back. We
we can do what we want to do Cause we got all the time in the world For better or worse We should stay together So let's stay young and in love We should focus on us Forever Yeah baby if you Are feeling like I do We could run away Across the ocean Baby what you say We can leave today Anywhere we So one of my last projects for the day was to clean out the front spots of the garage because I have already um, cleaned out the back when I did the DIY shelves. So I took that Greenworks uh, pressure washer attachment and if you were in our garage and if I should have done it like a before, over where Brittany's car sits, the mud just like continuously drips when it rains and when they're pressure washing or when they're washing the road off, all that mud just sticks to her car and just falls right there. I could not for the life of me get that stuff to come out until I used that concrete cleaner and the uh, attachment and it everything pretty much come up right away and honestly it made the floors look almost brand new. Oh look, we're back at laundry. More and more laundry. <laughs> actually, that was the she same stole laundry. That line from me. No, I didn't. <laughs> actually, yes, I did. <laughs> so the next room that I needed to tackle was Harlow and Scarlett's room. And like I told you guys, her room was back to square one again today, just like this. I need to teach that girl how to clean up after herself more. But I wanted to go ahead and organize all of her toys, put them back in the bins. I did vacuum all of the kids' rooms and actually the only room that I didn't need to clean was Aria's. Hers was pretty much spotless. And I needed to put up some diapers and wipes. You know, you just get to the habit or get in the habit of just like setting things down and not putting them back in the right place. I've noticed myself doing that a lot lately because I'm constantly on the move, constantly going and Sometimes I don't want to take the extra step. So she had so much stuff all over her dresser and I just kind of needed to put everything away, declutter, at least make the bed to make the room look a little bit more neater as well. So moving on to the kids bathroom this is another place that everything always ends up on the counter i know you parents that are watching this video feel my pain when you go into the kids bathroom and there's just stuff thrown everywhere there's toothpaste stains all over the counters in the sink toothpaste stains all over the mirror everywhere it's be on the seat <laughs> be on the seat i didn't want to mention that part but you you know how it is you know how kids bathrooms are so i just wanted to wipe everything down and i had to clean the floors in there as well i mopped the floors and then you guys will see here in a second i got this little organizer for aria for like her cotton swabs and cotton balls and also all the kids ponytails and I didn't realize this is another Amazon fail but it kind of worked at the same time I didn't realize how big it was but it also was able to fit everything at the same time and Aria was still able to get stuff out of there I would say it's probably recommended for like older kids because it is glass another kind of am Frank. I was about to say <laughs> like when she pulled that out of the box I was like Brittany you do realize that that is Glass. But Arya was able to use it. I would not trust Nolan or Harlow to do it because they are definitely guaranteed to drop it and break oh, it. Oh yeah, I But Arya did. She did really good with it when she was getting her stuff out. But you guys, this bathroom already looks ten times better than it did. Just by tidying up and just like cleaning and wiping things down, you can make any room 
look better. And look, more, more laundry. laundry. I don't think I showed it in this video, but I think I did six loads of laundry this day. So I did my clothes, the girls' clothes, Harlow or Nolan and Arya's clothes, towels, and what else did I wash? There was you something. Did mine else. Tonight. Yeah, I did Frank's tonight, but I did at least six loads of laundry. So I just wanted to mention that because not only did I clean, I got a lot of laundry done. So I got caught up a little bit on laundry, which always feels good. And we're back to the kids' bathroom because I realized I never wiped down their mirror. So I come home from doing another More With Mars project and I walk upstairs, I'm like, Britt, what are you doing? And I see this huge pile of clothes on the bed. So what do I do? Husband of the year. Start. <laughs> I started helping Brittany do laundry and I could tell by the way I was doing it, it was not right. But Brittany was not going to say anything because I was home to help. I was just thinking most of the time, I would say nine times out of 10, if Frank sees that I'm doing laundry, he will usually jump in and do it, which I'm thankful for. Might not be folded the right way. Things might not be how they're supposed to be, but I try not to say anything and then I just kind of fix it on my own time. Look at me though. I did sweaters and <laughs> Piling shirts through separately. all those clothes. And also, oh, I wanted to mention these microfiber cloths. I got these for cleaning because I want to start using these more than um, like paper towels, even though you will see later in this video, I do use paper towels for the bathroom. I will use paper towels for the bathroom because I don't know, it just kind of like grosses me out using cloths. Anyways, so I got these, I'll link them down below. And then I also got some microfiber wash because I did not know that it, they need their own separate um, detergent. Yeah, because if you use like a regular household detergent or if you use um, more of like the uh, the fabric softener, mm -hmm. it will actually not work. It will repel water instead of absorb it. Yeah, I didn't know that. So heads up, if you guys also have microfiber cloths, get the wash, everything will be down in the description. <laughs> All right, so the last thing on our to-do list, actually I think there was some footage of Frank vacuuming too, so I feel you guys will see that a little bit, but the last thing that I really wanted to tackle on cleaning the upstairs, our messy upstairs, was the bathroom, and this actually took two days, so there's two different parts that I need to get done. This was just me mainly cleaning the floor, mopping it, washing the bathroom rugs, and then what I did today was cleaning the shower because that really needed to be clean and then also organizing because we have so much stuff actually when i say we i actually mean me i have so much stuff you guys can probably see a little bit on my vanity so i wanted to organize all of that go through all of that you guys will see that here in a second and i made the bed frank made the bed and he, that he there, vacuumed. That's a rarity. This is more like a couples clean with me video because we both did a lot. We did accomplish a lot really during this did. video, and I'm really proud of ourselves. Even though the bathroom or the upstairs was back to being messy again, it still felt really nice. Feel, to have yeah. it like nice and clean. Like I told Brittany last night, I was like, 
I just it's it so nice to walk into like your this, room and it's like so nice and clean yeah. and you can just go right to bed and not have to worry about it yeah I know and it never looks like this so I was proud even though it was kind of short-lived but that's okay okay you guys so for the last satisfying part of the video you will see some awesome vacuuming linings <laughs> Are you trying to say my bathroom cleaning is not going to be satisfying? No, your bathroom cleaning is very satisfying <laughs> because it was actually nice and clean it again. Was. But like, you guys, these lines you guys, if, are spot on. If you can't tell, Frank is like very obsessed with satisfying lines. Look at that. Those things just look amazing. I just like vacuum and zigzags and all random places. So this is kind of like a last minute organization that I did in my closet. I bought this sunglasses rack and went ahead and put my sunglasses on there. I also have, if you guys remember from Aria's makeover video, um, she had like the little earring holder. I got myself one as well to put my earrings on and just be able to clean up all my accessories. All right, so like I was talking to you guys about, kind of like the part two of cleaning the bathroom, I found this, I guess, recipe. I don't know what you would call it on Pinterest on how to clean glass showers doors. And so it was kind of a fail, but also kind of not because I don't think I had a big enough spray bottle to do the solution. So you need Dawn vinegar and baking soda. You had to heat up the vinegar for 90 seconds and then mix it all together. I don't think that my bottle was big enough because you guys will see here in a second when I put the baking soda in. It had a chemical reaction. It, yeah, you know, like a volcano <laughs> and it started. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. I was like, I it's like I totally forgot like third grade science that when you mix vinegar and baking <laughs> soda, but that was the recipe. So I thought I was good. And I say it's a fail because that happened, but you guys can see how dirty our glass is. But when I actually went in there and cleaned and used the solution on the glass, I actually use bleach on the tile as well. I do have a grout cleaner coming in the mail, so I'm excited to try that. But when I used it and left it on for about 10 minutes, because while I left it on there, I was also doing some other cleaning. When I rinsed it off, it all the like water stains came off and the glass was clear so it did work my tip would be get a bigger spray bottle Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever also, as I was cleaning the shower, I realized we need one of those spray, what are they called, like spray hose? Like a new uh, shower head. Yeah, new shower head because I had to take like the kids like rinse cup and rinse the glass off because there was no way to rinse it off. But as you guys can see, the glass looks really good, really clear. And I even read that with glass showers, you also might want to buy a squeegee and just squeegee like after the shower. So I might do that. Um, just it so just keeps the water spots to a minimum. Yeah, just to keep our glass clean. But the rest of the shower turned out really, really good. And then I bought these rack organizer or shower racks off Amazon to organize all of my products. And I say my products because Frank only has his shampoo and conditioner. Meanwhile, I have like 20 products in there. At least, but it like took everything off of that bench right there mm -hmm. and it got it off. It cleared it, it up. It cleared everything right up and it made it just 
nicer. Yeah, I agree. I really like it. So again, those links will be down below. But now moving on to the tub, I just had to rinse it out. And oh, I wanted to link this as well. It's kind of like a adjustable tray, like a wooden tray to put everything on. So I'll leave that down below because it's perfect for the bathtub and perfect for bubble baths. It actually has like a little iPad stand. I don't use that, but and a wine glass holder. So, can't forget that. Can't forget that. So I will also leave that down below because I think a lot of people would like that. And now moving on to the vanities. This is where I had my work cut out for me because I wanted to go through all the drawers, organize everything. Frank's side wasn't as bad because he didn't have as much stuff, but you guys will see here in a second, I had a lot to go through and organize. And I'm so grateful that I got these drawer organizers. That way I can tidy up everything in our drawers. Also, I quickly want to mention these clear dividers. If you guys remember when I did the girls' room with their drawer and closet organization, I ended up not using them. Well, they fit perfectly in our bathroom drawers, so I ended up just putting them in there, and it worked out really good. If I could do it all again, there is so much that I would change about the way I treated you. I don't deserve a second chance. I know that I'm way too late Cause I messed it up and there you go All right guys, so we are at the end of the video. I told you guys this was going to be an extreme clean and organization video. I hope it gave you guys plenty of motivation and inspiration to clean your house. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys Tuesday. Bye guys.